O mai ka ito ar ohana at the Native Hawaiian Hospitality Association. They hosted the inaugural Ho'okipa Hawaii Weekend at the Royal Hawaiian Center. Hundreds of kama'aina and malihini gathered for the very first time this event is going on. Mm -hmm. And I stopped by and visited our friend Malia Sanders. Stalker. <laughs> she was your wee. I know, but I had to go, you know, just aloha her. And anyway, she's the executive director of Naha. And I asked her what Naha's mission for this event was. Well, we really wanted to have a lot of participation by Native Hawaiian vendors and Native Hawaiian practitioners to the extent possible, down to every possible detail of this event. And really it's about reclaiming space in Waikiki for our own people. I know all the time Kamaina say that Waikiki is not for them. So having a space where we can celebrate ourselves and our culture and enjoy that with our visitors and other Kamaina. I love that because as we mentioned, there are 100,000 Native Hawaiians that lived here in this space once upon a time and our royals used to come here to the healing waters of Waikiki. So I love the fact that you're bringing or trying to bring our, our Kama and our local, our Kanaka back to Waikiki to this magical space and, and again, share it with the visitors. Now, based on the participation of you know this weekend, did you think you accomplished your goals or is there more work that needs to be done? I think just having all the vendors here and having all the practitioners here and the many collaborators is definitely a success but to see the people come through and to shop and spend and and understand that their dollar is really being spent on the best people it's really it's really quite beautiful is that part of the whole regenerative tourism can you talk about that for a little yes. bit yes so regenerative tourism is about honoring the people place and culture of any destination that it's being practiced in so in Hawaii that's a native Hawaiian culture and the native Hawaiian people and and this space is so special and our people really have a lot to offer. And so we really wanted to make sure that we provided a place of regeneration, just as the heating waters of Waikiki, the spouting waters, did hundreds of years for our people. Now, as far as, I know you guys did a lot of demonstrations as well from our Miyahana no Eo. Talk about the difference between learning the craft and then creating your own business out of it versus learning the craft and un to understand what the purpose was for. In our demonstrations, booths downstairs we're not trying to teach people how to do what we do it's more of an education of why it is so important that we practice these kinds of cultural practices and cultural arts and then to take that concept of education and put it in a product that can actually be sold in the retail market we have a couple of our demonstrators downstairs who have businesses upstairs too that's awesome. Here in Waikiki. Here in Waikiki. Oh, Mike Kailua. Now, for those that didn't get a chance to come to uh, experience Ho'okipa Hawaii Weekend, um, how can, in the future, how can we support Naha's mission, your guys' um, your, your guys' goals? How can we do that? Well, for this event in particular, this was our inaugural event. And within the first two hours of starting the day yesterday, we've had a lot of compliments on what we put together. And people want to see it come back. So really supporting Naha in our mission would mean partnering with us, providing any type of financial or monetary support as we are a nonprofit, but also just, you know, coming to the space and participating in this engagement with what we have going on this weekend. It helps. It helps. Awesome. And where can they, can they go to a website? Can they call your office? They can go to our website, nahha.com. Right on. Hey, Malia, congratulations on this awesome weekend. Thank you for bringing our Kama'aina to kind of co-mingle with our visitors, our Malihini here in Waikiki. Mahalo for having us too. We oh. appreciate it. Oh, we appreciate you guys, and we look forward to the second annual yes. next year. Right on. We're going to just manifest that now. Amen. Let's do that. Right on, Malia. All right, you're watching Island Life Live. We'll send it back to the studio. And here we are, back in the studio. <laughs> I was there. You, you literally now sent it back to yourself. I know. Right on, brother. Thank, thank you, brother. I ran to Waikiki real quick, and then I came Good right goal. back, changed my shirt. Came back. No wonder you LBS a little bit skinty. <laughs> no, but congratulations to Anaha. That was an incredible weekend. That looked awesome. So were, much. Were you guys paying attention? Because yeah. all I heard throughout that whole thing was, wow, but I get nice legs. Out. I'm sorry. <laughs> he did. He was doing those his hellas. His hellas. muscles were his just His hellas, yeah. So that whole thing, that's all you guys got yeah, out of that thighs. entire part. I asked him really Really compelling questions, I believe. Come That's why I need to wear the show so I can watch it back <laughs> for the important stuff. But oh, yeah. those, and the cute cunny. Those <laughs> thighs are so nice. <laughs> What do they call it? Oh, P90X, right? <laughs> yes. He may look No, he may look on tall. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, talk us to Naha and Malia. Thank you so much for being with us.